I'm S. Nichols, and I'm a senior at Millard South. Uh, Rita Hester was a black transgender woman found dead in her Alston apartment on November 20th, 1998, having been stabbed more than 20 times. In the resulting investigation, Boston media refused to use her correct name and pronouns, referring to her as a nightclub singer and a party thrower, a man who sported long braids and preferred women's clothes. Her unsolved murder and the resulting outrage led to the celebration of Transgender Day of Remembrance. And this poem is called Rita. Rita, I feel your nervous backed closeness when my strung bands are followed by two men coiled to boiling point in drinks that fizzle up my throat and I don't breathe to keep my chest flat. Your hand shakes as it clutches my key between your fingers, red nails clacking louder against yellow teeth than the heels wandering in Alston Street. Even your vibrating sight knows the corners, catches a string of smoke floating from your neighbor's balcony off under the frail street light. You pass beneath, I pass beneath, curl closer into a faux leather jacket, pull a beanie lower, to cover their slick voices, train my eyes on the glass glowing lot, my lungs on my Volvo's locked doors, three turns later and you were climbing upstairs, riddled with holes one at a time, all this dress will allow, just a floor behind the metallic clink of feet, grooved railing sings like church bells approaching you, approaching me, men with eyes matte as the black corvette, they step to crack a joke about the homeless man, woman curled in the alleyway, their breath mists like your blood on the balcony, door, redder nails, scraping outdated carpet away from the crunch of work boot, your scream catapulting down my throat just as lost as I am, a passing white boy in the liberal part of town who can belt out estrogen terror but doesn't need to, as two drunk men drive away the memory of you bleeding out the ink of he, his, him, dripping down your neighbor's fingers as they ravage a pack of smokes scavenged through the papers, such a shame, they tisk. Another black man lost to the latest crime spree, almost looks familiar, they purr. Red nails glaringly bare, scrape clean for your last headshot, Rita. If I die, my coffin will be littered with dirt by just a few who whisper my chosen name as a eulogy, my mother will put how pretty I was in print. Your body is only pretty to them. Printed on a gravestone, its wrongs caressed with flowers and candles, plated up for post-mortem dissection. Countless other women who have become beside you, I am not. I am tumbling out of a gas station bathroom stall to a world ugly as the face of the man waiting outside, fists curled and hissing, eyes slipping under my skin with the same apathy that filled the pursed lips of journalists as they trailed the crowd behind your mother, Rita. She knelt at the gateway to your apartment in lined slippers, worn as her eyelids from praying. The men standing by with cigarettes and notepads wait for her to say, I would have gladly died for you, Rita. I would have taken the stabs and told you to run. Their eyes narrow, staring me down through this balding man in a midtown Bucky's hallway. He poisons my hips with deadly knowledge as I walk away, as I walk away. <laughs>